Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and this is Elite Dangerous. Now recently I've had a few requests to do a performance test on how this runs on a laptop and I'm going to go ahead and do that for you guys. So first off, let's just have a quick look at the options here. I've got everything set to low. Now I'll include my specs for my laptop in the description below. I'm running at a resolution of 720p and you can should just about to make out the frame rates in the top left hand corner of the screen there in the purple writing and inside the station so I get around about 25 frames a second and I've scrolled through the um, menus there because sometimes that does have an impact on the FPS performance as does the steam and smoke in front of us here that can be a little bit of a kicker on performance as well but let's get up to the surface area of this station and have another closer look at the FPS performance there. So now we're away from that steam, you can see we're getting pretty much consistent 30 FPS here. And that probably reduced down a little bit just as we take off. But the laptop does maintain over 25 frames a second inside the stations which for a lot of people playing on a laptop should be more than playable. So obviously out in space we're going to get a lot better performance with over 50 frames a second here and a peak of over 70 frames a second. So far from bad. Now the game is running in low settings as you guys saw but it's still a fairly pretty game and you will find that you can enable settings like the uh, FX quality improve that to at least medium and maybe even high and that will have a relatively small impact on your frame rate performance whilst at the same time giving quite a fast increase into the graphical quality you should also be able to add bloom without too much decrease in performance Shadows are the one that tend to be a bit of a kicker on performance end of things, but you might be able to get away with low quality shadows and lose just a few frames a second. So, here we go for landing. And you can see once again we're at a pretty much consistent 30 frames a second. So, here's one of my famed landings. And we're down. So next up, I'm going to show you one of the combat missions in the Asteroid Ring Tutorial Zone. I think it's Tutorial Mission 3, Basic Combat. And I won't do a cut here. I'll allow you to see the, allow you to have the pleasure of seeing the loading screen, if only to give you an idea of the loading times as they currently stand. Now I'm not using an SSD. I'm using a regular inbuilt hard drive, but the performance of the hard drive is usually fairly good as you can see there that didn't take too long right now even on my desktop uh, where I'm running a GTX 780 and an i5 2500K I do have a significant performance hit sometimes in the asteroid fields even though that game on that computer is set to max settings but as you can see here on medium settings we get a decent performance again regularly hitting the 30 frames a second mark which is pretty much ideal for a smooth play session so we'll attack this target here and get a little idea of what com combat's like so this poor little guy starts without any form of shields and again that's simply because it's a tutorial mission and as you can see, even with the lasers firing and an NP ship flying around among asteroids, we don't take really any hit at all on performance. We're still maintaining over 30 frames a second. Now, the reason I've chosen the tutorial missions here is because that all things being equal, everyone should be able to replicate the same circumstances in the same environment whereas if I happen to choose one of the online areas even if it's a core system like Erenin 
there's a lot of other factors that come into play such as network performance and the number of other players in the area their yeah, target destroyed so there we have it Elite Dangerous works perfectly okay on a medium spec laptop I'll catch you guys and girls next time this has been Obsidian Ant signing off